Hey guys, it's me, Timmy's Hype here on the uh, Timmy's Who Plays YouTube channel, and we're back finally with a silly car build uh, video. And well, if you know uh, me and that Kai Four Five Eight, we've been you know collabing quite a bit re recently. We have a lot of fun together. And recently, he made a video. Well, when this goes out, it's about a week old now. The video where we put a Dodge Viper ACR against the Volvo uh, XC90, and well. And that prompted me um, to remember about the Kill it Silly Car Build Challenge series, for one, and to um, want to drive this thing a hell of a lot more. Now, we did the review on this thing and I didn't really like it. But, that doesn't necessarily mean when it's maxed out, it will be very bad. We do know the way that car guy built it, it wasn't the best. And since we've been taking around suitably you know, suitably not silly cars. It is about time we took something a little bit more less less race carry, less fast. And that means we're taking an SUV. So let's see what engines can we get into it for a start. V8 or a V10. This was the engine we put into this is the Gallardo engine. I don't think we've actually ever used the Gallardo engine in this series so far. I'm pretty sure we use the Viper engine. I'm not sure if we use the Gallardo engine. So we're gonna use the Gallardo engine. Um we're going to stick some big twin turbos that we can put... What? It's still in C-Class! <laughs> oh, horrific! 600 horsepower C-Class! No, um, it's because it's not got any, um, any handle upgrades. We'll put, put twin turbos on it. I don't know how much power this is going to get. I'm hoping around the 1000 horsepower mark. This thing does come all drive as standard, so it should be helpful for acceleration. should be helpful for um, out, out the corner speed. Not necessarily through the corner, that might be where this Volvo does struggle a little bit. Uh, we want racing tyres on here. And max the tyre, which has 305s on the front and I'm guessing 305s on the back. Yes. Yeah, I would like a little bit bigger for the amount of power we gain. Yes, it's all wheel drive. Yes, it has race tyres, but the design don't matter. I, I wish we had bigger tyres. I always wish we had bigger tyres of cars. It's always a thing. If I could put 455s on every single one of my cars, 455s would be put on every single one of my cars. But sadly, I can't. And this is not going up in PI as much as I thought it would. That actually reduces the PI. Oh, that's a lot of weight out of me Volvo. Um, yeah. It's very heavy. Um, hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. I expect massive acceleration from how much power this thing's going to have and it being all wheel drive. Um, so, hopefully, that does well. No, I've done tyres. I've done not. No! Forza! Why do you do this to me? I've already done the. Oh, I need to do power. So, I need to do power, Forza. Yep. Thank you. It should be so much quicker if I had the. If we did this in FH3, it'd be so much easier. We could just fly through every single um, upgrade and buy them all. Um, the car pack comes out this week, which this video goes out as well. So you guys should be excited for that. We should be covering that very quickly on the channel. Um, hope this this goes out on time anyway. If not, then rip. Um, all my timing is off, but it's fine. We're still in S class, which is a bit of a worry. Because we've got quite a bit of horsepower, and we're not in our class, which means it's not going to handle very, very well. Which, for the sir we go to isn't the best. Um, but there, we have built our car now. We've got 917 horsepower, weighing 4,175 pounds. Uh, we might have actually used a Gato engine, I don't remember. 305 race tyres. I'm not sure this car is going to do well. What does it say? Is there a in 2.7 seconds with top speed of 260 miles an hour? We'll see what we do. We're going to take it to our dedicated test track for the series, the Mugello Full Tech, for five laps to push this car to its absolute limit and see just how well it can do. See you guys at Mugello. So here we are, guys, at the Mugello Full Circuit. We have five laps to push this XC90 to its absolute maximum limit. And, um,. Well, this will probably be facing off against the likes of the Durango and cars around there. I've not seen the, the list in God knows how long. Um, so yeah, somewhere around the Durango and the Safari. Um, let me check out five. Ooh, okay, that's a very, very short gear walk, the first gear. Here we go, we're accelerating massively quickly. The co tires are already getting cold again. It's, oh God, okay. So, here we go. Hard on. 
Well, I was hard on the brakes. Oh, that, that doesn't fill me with confidence at all. <laughs> that does not fill me with any confidence. Okay, so so there's not as much on the series as I was expecting this to be, which is good. Um, oh, come on, please turn him. I mean, there is a little bit of one to say. There is always going to be on the stair in a car this powerful as like all-wheel drive. Um, there isn't as much... There, is, there isn't, if any... Uh, neutral steer, which is what a lot of four-wheel drive cars suffer when they get to this amount of horsepower. The Bentley suffered from it, the Durango suffered from it, and pretty much every other car we've taken that this four-wheel drive has suffered from it. See, it's very easy to control though. Oh yeah, the under series is definitely a massive issue with this car. It, it doesn't have much of it, but it does at the same time. Uh, yeah, this is not the greatest, but it's not the worst car we've ever driven. And the brakes, I don't, I don't know what was wrong with them on that first lap. They're not bad, they're not good either. We've seen much, much better brakes. Um, from like the Dodge Viper, the Chiron obviously. This, this and the Chiron weigh about a similar amount actually. The Chiron's just got 600 more horsepower than it and much bigger tyres. Um, and here we go. Power, 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 power. Can we take? We cannot take this nearly flat out. There's not enough front. No, there's nowhere near enough front. That's twice off this lap. Not nearly enough front end grip for that. So, lap one, our, our exploratory lap. It's not gone well. It. This is this is very bad. This is incredible. We're gonna have to take some really weird lines here. We have to go in. I think for that final corner, we have to go in deep and then pull it around so we can accelerate through the corner. I think that's going to be faster. We'll try both ways, obviously. And um, here we go, though. 216. That is like the slowest we've ever gone. Um, but anyway, I'm on the brakes now. Oh, don't lock up. Okay. We. No. They're not. They're not good. They're, they're just not good for the big braking zones. And I mean, for these small braking zones, it's not so bad because you know when it's fast. Um, and you don't need to break like you don't need as much braking power but you know this thing he's it does feel very heavy um i can tell you that one for free it does feel incredibly heavy it doesn't accelerate nearly as fast as i was expecting it to um well that's some 7.5 seconds up an hour uh, time there so we're around the the 209s which isn't fast I mean, obviously, we're not expecting this to compete in the Sharon, but I'm expecting this to be a little better. 209s. I'm at a certain point in the list. I'm around the 207s, which is where I'm expecting this to go on. Okay, we see the 209s. Actually, the arrow will be able to. Um, just look a little further down, but it's like it goes from like a 207 to a 212. Can this car get into the 207? <laughs> I wasn't, I, I didn't know really what I was expecting, I was expecting to run the Nissan Sapphire, but the Nissan Sapphire was surprisingly good. We got around a 203, we have lost time through that second sector. It wasn't the cleanest ever, we can clean that up and probably do better with it. Um, so if we can be, get a 203 to be on the Nissan Sapphire, I'd be very surprised. The Sapphire was incredibly good driving. Um, okay, 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 okay. Chill out there, Volvo. Um, and then what I meant by going deep is coming out here, hitting a late, very, very late apex, and now being able to accelerate through. I think that's probably the fastest we can get it to go. Yeah, it's not, it's not fast. I'll tell you that one, for free. It's not fast. A 208. So we're currently just beating the 150 utility sedan, which is rear-wheel drive. Uh, Oh, the, the brakes are just horrific. They don't work. Oh my Jesus. We're going to have to brake a lot, lot early for that. Yes, you'll see, I can't put... I'm not using ABS, so I can't put full brakes on it. It'll just make it even worse. I'm using about 90% braking, which, which is about what you should use for um, for braking with a car like this, for just not locking your brakes up, for getting, but, but getting the most amount of power. Yeah, you want around the 90, 95% mark, but you don't push it too much. You'll see. You, you'll be able to hear. I do lock up the tyres a lot going into that first corner because I, I expect better from the brakes now when they're not doing as good. You think, oh, maybe I'm not putting enough on. I locked them up there as well. 
Um, yeah, we, there is. It's not good. <laughs> the front wheels are suffering a lot. I, I'm curious to whether this car has more power going to the front than it does the rear. Maybe it's like a. Uh, a 60-40 kind of setup, 60 from the front to the rear or something, because it doesn't have overstay, which is strange from an all-wheel drive car with this much power. It doesn't have that really weird neutral stay. Um, I mean, yeah, you can get it to, but it kind of reacts like a front-wheel drive car would. So, I don't know. Maybe it's 50-50 and it's just surprisingly grippy and doesn't overstay. Um, Actually, I don't know. I think it might just be 50 50. Um, anyway, the speed limit apparently around here is 30, as it's telling me on my dashboard. I was looking at my dashboard. Um, yeah. It's, it's not going well. It is just not going well. We've got one, two more laps after this to see if we can go any quicker. Let's get turned in. Ah, it's definitely not a good. I don't know, I think that I think that second line I took, the going deep, take the late apex and accelerate out, is better for this car. And it's not gonna be better for all cars because they just don't work like that. Some six seconds is that one on that lap. Right, we're gonna break around about that line. Oh I've locked up, I've locked up, that's not good, that is not good at all. Um come on. I mean we we did get the breaking zone pretty good there. That was very good on the break, and I think that might have saved us some time because we kept it very close to the apex. We kept it on what they would call the racing line. Um, it feels much, much quicker so far, and we're getting our first sector time just after this S curve. Oh, I did get on curbside there. That was not fun at all. Here we go, though. Um, where are we going? Are we going to get it out? No, we're slower. Okay, we're point for. I mean, maybe it was that slide that we had. That could be it, because usually that would lose about half a second, and we are only point three seconds. So I, I do think we were up in that first sector. We are going to have to have, a, a, I think, a do or die lap, but we never know. This this might get us better. We've not done so good in the Volvo so far. It does feel extremely slow. 917 horsepower has never felt so slow. Overlaying in the front of this Volvo it does sound good though. I mean, it is a Gallardo engine in the front of this after all. It, it won't sound exactly like a Gallardo because it's got different exhausts on it. So, um, it sounds a little bit different, but it does sound good. We are 1.1 seconds up. We have found some massive time through that second sector. Um, I'm going very wide. Right. The understeer is not good, but we can bring it back round. Hit like, take that as like a, a double E-pest corner, in a way. Okay, we've kept on the track there. We've kept on the... We're going... Much, much better so far. Hard on the brakes into here. Take the take the line of show before. Actually, we've, we've really botched that up. But it might not be that bad. We've actually kept it quite close to the. We've spin the wheels up a massive amount. We're much quicker, I, I imagine, about the 205 area. Um, so currently, that was three, three to faster. 2056, 2057 even. Plus, it around about. The, the between the Arctic Truck AT37 and the Crown Vic. Now, we need a lot of time to get to that Durango. We need about a second. Can we find it? Let's find out. So, um, I was recording this um, first bit of the lap, and I noticed that my recording had froze. Um, I have got every. It was literally just this first part. Like, I have no reason. I have no idea why. I've just been checking out now. Um, it just completely froze. So, what what's up so far? We're about 0.4 seconds up on our first lap. We got the first sector very, very well. We're going to the second sector now, and it's not that far, and it's only been about a 30 second jump. So, I'm hoping it's not too bad for you guys. I have no idea. So I've never had it do that to me before. Um, but now, we must finish this lap in the Volvo. And I'll, as I was explaining, I had to go and do something before I record this final lap, so that's why I had to pause the video for a minute. And then I'm gonna come back and do my record again. So um, it's a bit, bit mean on the editing software's front, um, but we're doing well this time. I feel like the sounds have been have been improved before. I might just be listening to my game a little bit louder and listening to the, the more quieter, non noticeable sounds. We are down. Oh, that's not been a very good sector two. We're not down by much, but we've um, maybe we can get the sector three right. Get the last corner 
much better and hopefully, hopefully get more speed. Now let me have a look. But that is a dirty lap of 205698. And this is a clean lap. So if we get a faster 205698, so we got to be, can we be a 205698? Good on the brakes? Yes, that was a very, very good on the brakes. We've kind of missed the apex a little bit, but we can keep it, keep it, keeping it close. Is better than missing it. Well, I mean, we did miss it completely, but um, we kept it close. That felt very, very solid through that final corner. Can we get back? Oh, we're gonna. We've gained a lot of time. No, we're down. A two, five, six, nine, eight. Oh, we couldn't do it. That puts with a two, five, six, nine, eight. That puts the car. I'm sorry. I need to get back. On to two, five, six, nine, eight. Puts the the car in seventeenth position. Uh, 205 puts it six tenths faster than a Ford Crown Vic. I'm going to stall the, the Volvo if I'm not careful. Uh, but it is a good bit faster. I've got two seconds. I've just crowd. I wasn't looking at my screen, okay? Uh, faster than the AT37. 205 698 for this car. Now, we must tune it off top speed and see what it can do. I'm not very hopeful because it is just a brick and it weighs an absolute crap ton. Um, but yeah, 17th position for the Volvo. Uh, that's what we can do for speed wise. So here we are guys at the Le Mans uh, Very very long straight now like I said we are here to do the top speed run and Well, we, we, we know Historically in this series big SUVs and very very heavy cars haven't done very well um, For example only 139 mile an hour racing truck which You know had a lot of horsepower which just wasn't very fast because it weighed an awful lot. But we're looking again somewhere around the uh, maybe about the Ram Runner or um, Durango tire speed. So around the 220 mile an hour mark. If we can get that, it does say we can get that. So hopefully we can. But then again, we can't always trust Forza because sometimes it's zero limits. Now we did show with a bit of understeer when we had it before. Um, now we don't as much. We suffer from more oversteer, which isn't fun. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys. Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm dying. Okay. Here we go. Once the start finish, uh, start finish rate the back straight even. What speed will we hit? Um, there's one forty. We're going to fifth, fourth for one fifty. Um, this feels incredibly slow. One eighty. One eighty. There we go. <laughs> This 190s is not accelerating quickly. We are doing, come on, 200 in a Volvo XC90. Oh, back to 200 in a Volvo XC90. It's quite comfortable, actually. Um, 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. Can we get 10 more miles an hour out of the Volvo? It is very, very short. I don't want to stare it too much because it will lose speed. 215. Come on, the downhill section, can we get any quicker? Oh my god! 2.15 2 is still the highest we've got! Right, here we go, can we get a couple more miles an hour out of the Volvo? 2.15 2.16 Come on! No. And the guard or engine goes face first into a tie button for 216 miles an hour puts it into 13th place, 3 miles an hour faster than a Cadillac Limo, uh, but 3 miles an hour down on a Crown Vic. So, if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more silly car builds on the on the channel, um, very, very soon, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. Um, the Volvo, whilst not the best car, it, well, it has been a heck of a ride in this thing. Um, so that's fun. Comment down below also what car you want to see us take. Uh, the, the last couple you've said, the, G, the AMG GTR did pretty well, the uh, 458 was a surprisingly shocking result, the 458 Speciality though was incredible, so tell me what you're going to say and we'll cover it. We'll be covering the new cars from the new car pack as well so don't you guys worry about that, the car review series should be back up and running, hopefully, um, we've missed a week and we should be getting back on it, uh, the week, this goes out as well so I hope you guys enjoyed, but yeah, that's it from me, Tony's Hyper, signing out.